are still watching ways now albinism is a rare non-contagious genetically inherited um, difference um, present at birth in almost all types of albinism both parents must carry the gene for it to be passed on even if they do not have albinism themselves now this year's theme is inclusion is strength um, built on our last year's theme of united in making our voice heard now the aim is to ensure that inclusion of the voices of persons with albinism in all sectors of um, life right it also emphasizes the importance of inclusion of a diversity of group from both within and outside our albinism community oh my god so i had a, a classmate like mm -hmm. she was like chaco Mm -hmm. Her sister was white. Oh, you had one of those. We had one. Of those. I used to, I mm -hmm. used to love it. Like it was so exciting for me. Like, how do you have like you know like? It's so like you, they were they were sisters, right? They were sisters. Uh, my in my school they were twins. Oh, yeah. how would that be more interesting? Yeah, they were twins. She was she was her younger sister. Mm. So Joy was in our class, and her sister was in the uh, mm. class younger than us. Like it used to so it, like I used to be so excited when I see yeah. see them like mm. it was exciting to me like those kind of things used to parents, trip us as kids you know, it used on. to trip me like uh -huh. so, and and Joy had um the her skin was perfect it mm. wasn't um so it wasn't extreme and she I think for a young age her parents actually like protected her against mm. you know, because when the when the the sun the sun so cool, the eyes and yes, the because skin so harsh mm. for them. That's when they start to have all those patches and skin conditions. So you, if you on, if you notice it early and you start to protect them against any ex yeah. ex excessive exposure from the sun, you like they, they really. If I there was one guy that used to toast my sister, how old was that his name? His eyes would just be dancing. <laughs> you bring flowers. You bring this. My sister he was so in love with my sister. Mm. But my sister does not have time for nobody. <laughs> Yeah, I never really. You never really experienced encountered any of them. I, I did, oh, but I, I just did. I, like I don't think I was as excited. Like, 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 I, right. I, I was just maybe worried to say like, like why, why is Yeah, they can be fragile, especially because of the the nature of the mm. skin. So that's why they have to be very you know protected. And the, the ones I met, oh. can they also have like other issues, like maybe um autism as well? It's possible. Yeah, I it's guess. Possible. I yeah, guess. So and I, I, I don't know. It was just. Mm. It was, you didn't have. It was, yeah. So you had <laughs> odd experiences. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, we had um two join us recently at work. So we had a diversity, um, program and nice. two exceptional young people. I mean, in fact, the the lady she's so vocal and so confident and so bold, um, but yeah, they go through a lot of challenges, particularly in this part of the world where the sun is so. Huh. Yeah. harsh and yeah and on all of that so you know when you see them actually be confident because you know kids can be mean mm. so when you see them be confident and you know really stepping out there both of them graduates now you know taking the step into um the corporate mm. world so quite impressive to to meet both of them uh so i, I realized that i think it's i'm not sure if it's it's officially classed as a disability I'm not. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I'm but not sure either. They go through quite a, well, through a bit a to it's adjust when we, to when we regular, see any of them show love. regular, regular Absolutely. life. Yeah. Mm. yeah. For parents, you know, because me, I'm a skincare person. Mm. Right? So for parents, that if you notice, you know, that you you've, you've had a child and the child mm. has, you know, a, a, albinism, try as much as possible to just protect the child because yeah. what they need more is just you know on protection from the protection side. from on you know harsh UV exposures mm. yeah, of UV rays. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's quickly run through our news. Mm. What did we find in the news, ladies? Um, okay, so maybe I'll take my story first. Mine is a bit of a... It's sad and it's frustrating at the same time. Um, my headline says, septuagenarian remanded for serial rape of 10-year-old in Ikiti. So... Um, an Ikiti state chief magistrate um, has reminded a 70-year-old man, Sulia Adiola, at the Nigerian Correctional Center, Adiokiti, for allegedly raping a 10-year-old girl. I think it, that, that, that at this point is classed as defilement, given that she's a minor, and this happened between March and June of this year. So um, I believe the girl's mother has passed away, and her father lives somewhere else, uh, I think in Abekuta. 
she stays with her grandmother in Ikiti, and this man is uh, the alleged culprit is their neighbor. And yeah. she said that every time she was sent on an errand, that the man would, um, you know, get her to his place and, uh, and, and then defile her um, under the threat that if she said anything, he would beat her to death. Uh, so the case, we hope that, I mean, given what we know about how long these things take, we hope that they're able to get through the case quickly and um, find justice. So he's been remanded to, for 30 days pending the issuance of legal advice um, by the Director of Public Prosecution. So again, uh, like I said, let's hope that it doesn't take time and that justice is served. Awesome. All right, let me come to you, EC. What did you find for us in the news? All right, um, your story is quite um, painful to yeah. hear such a little child being um, molested by uh, uh, an elderly person. Mm. My story is the police arrest four officers for extorting undergraduate of 153,000 naira in Lagos State. And this was done in um, um, Ogudu State, uh, sorry, Ogudu area of Lagos, basically by four um, police officers. And the student who was actually um, put, in, put under this uh, problem was um, uh, a student of um, Cyprus University. His name is Emmanuel. Now, I don't know, murder his name basically, but he's, he was the one that had to go through this. I, based on the fact that we're taking this um, story um, quickly, I want to call our attention to the fact that the police officers who are currently um, being remanded in the police uh, um, cell is um, they are actually being detained and this has caused a lot of uh, ripple effect or like a dominoes effect where the uh, CP of that division and the DPO has been removed from office pending, pending the um, investigations and it calls to mind the question that why would we go through all of this through with the people who are supposed to be the ones who are um, supposed to protect us? It's um, time for us to actually call the police accountable, call them accountable for everything that they are doing. And it should be a public affair, basically, for all individuals involved. The um, I am also thankful for the fact that it was just a situation of um, extortion and no life was actually lost. So, and that's my story. Mm. As well. Mary, let me come to you. Um, mine is just a, I don't know if this is supposed to be a funny tweet, but from the billionaire businessman Elon Musk reveals the category of people that he's looking to hire. In a tweet on the 11th of June, he said, looking to hire a VP of witchcraft and propaganda. Mm. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. Could you explain to so maybe I don't uh -huh. know. Witchcraft. What is it witchcraft? witchcraft. What is propaganda they do? Ah. Because everybody, everybody that understands media and understands how it works and the tool, all of the social is no, it's it's so it's it not a PR person. My darling. It is. <laughs> it is, but yeah, I mean it's just very and see, that's, you. that's why you are talking about it now. <laughs> if he did it, if he said I want to hire a good looking girl that breathed that air with blood, nobody will understand it. But he understands the market. He understands that the only thing to get people talking, right? It's crazy. Yeah, you have to be. Social media is propaganda in itself. It's social media. Is I get the propaganda part. It's the, <laughs> the witchcraft. word witchcraft. That okay, it's the Nigerian in you that responded. Yeah. 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 It's the witchcraft. Is... You know, there's a witchcraft conference now, you know. Sorry? Actually, I don't know. But there's something for everybody in this world. There are covens, okay, there are practicing but witches, there are... a bit creepy? Thank yeah, you. No, don't think about it from the Nigerian culture. Well, there's a lot for everything. I don't know anything I know, no, I know, that. I know. But you see, I mean, the other day I, was, I, I turned on my TV and I saw a show of 
a human beings that think they are mermaids, that mm -hmm. are mermaids. They, have, they, they spend thousands of dollars on fins. They have conventions. They meet up. People hire them to be live mermaids. And yeah, so that, look, in this world, there's, there's a everybody. family and a group for everything. Yeah, the story I was going to take before I decided, you know what, let, let's, let me bring it back home, was the mm. naked guys, you know, that they ride mm -hmm. their bikes. The nudist across, people, the nudists yeah. And all of that. Yeah. As far as I was concerned, that was really offensive. If you want to do your, there's nudist beach stadium. We want to come and start doing anything. That was the story I was going to take. The, world, take the world has blended. It has, honestly. Mm -hmm. So I want to speak to what um, is happening around the Cookathon, right? Um, Maraji, mm -hmm. the comedian, came mm -hmm. out and did a video. And I think I, I, I agree, I tend to agree with her. Mm. Right? We, we are very classist in Nigeria. Extremely classist. This girl, in all fairness, I would not eat her food. The girl mm -hmm. cooking. Because for me, not because of the, the way she's cooking it. Me, particularly, my mother is a caterer. So for us, presentation is key. Jonathan, when you want to cook food and give me, mm. don't give me food like as if I'm suffering. I mean, mm. I, I'm a beggar with a choice. Mm. You understand? So personally, I wouldn't eat her food. But for, the, for, for a, a lot of people, right, they don't see that as a problem. They complained about her, everything, that couldn't she have waited to get brand to sponsor her? Couldn't she have waited to do it the way Hilda did it and all of that. And I, and I like the way Maraji addressed it because this is like opening up a conversation because a lot of, and this is not fair, a lot of celebrities, a lot of um, um, popular people, they've come to, they've really brought this girl down. Thank mm. God she's not following social media, she's busy cooking the food mm. she's cooking because it's actually demoralizing, mm -hmm. right? For all you care, she must have seen that girl and said, this is like a role I can do I this can too. Do it too. Yeah. So the girl now even went on to cite different Guinness World Records that, in fact, there was one she said in particular, I can remember that, you know, the Rubik's, the Rubik's Cube, Cube yeah. that it was same, same day. day. Mm. Somebody was underwater solving the Rubik's mm. Cube. Somebody else broke the same record in the same day, mm. right? That's so when we're talking about records and all of that, and it doesn't stop the other person from getting their record. Of course. The only thing uh, is that... Wasn't Hilda's as as, just confirmed today? Yes, Hilda's yeah. was confirmed today. As, mm. uh, the only thing is that if they see it and they approve it, they will also hand over, but it will go down in history that at one point you were a record holder. Mm. So it is, I mean, like, so let's please calm down on this girl. And I'm happy that it is, um, some lecturers in the, um, I think, vice chancellors and all of that, They've gone ahead to see her. Somebody, I, I took the story yesterday. Somebody even actually invited her for a cookathon. Two or weeks a cook tour, yes, tour in, in the US. US right? Mm. So, I mean, let's understand that everybody get level. This yeah. is the level that she can afford. This is the level that she can operate in. Right? So, celebrate the courage. It's not easy. I said, to stand for one, I can't even stand for one hour to cook. Mm. Because I put the food on the fire. I go and sit down. Yeah. I come back and check. That somebody is standing for hours for days. Come on, let's be kind to her. Uh, that's all I was going to say. Be kind that to her. Look, let's be kind to her. I get it and that you feel. Has, as the last time I checked, I think she had done 112 hours or so. Yeah, yeah. I, I've not checked since then, but she's, mm. she's already surpassed Hilda's Hilda's record. record yeah. Do you understand? Let's be kind to her. Yeah, I totally agree. Totally agree. I mean, I, I, I didn't even know it was happening. Um, the first post I actually saw was a celebrity actually mocking her um and i thought it was just sad because we were all saying how we were so proud to be nigerian right when hilda broke the record and i'm like this girl is also nigerian right what is the big deal the fact is all of it still brings positive um nigeria it's a positive reflection life. yes of nigeria and the fact that you know we have tenacity we have drive we have the courage to take on big challenges like this so for me it was a win-win I mean, the fact that it's not as flashy, she's not a celebrity. She's I mean, nothing. Those, yeah, are, nothing. those are all minor matters. The fact is, the goal is, are you able to cook for this amount of time? And that's all we should be focused okay. on. You know Pierre. Mm. You know the beauty of Pierre. Mm. It just takes one brand to pick up this girl. And all this drama that people are talking about, mm. tomorrow you will not even be able to recognize I, her. You know, people, people have Come different on. views and different opinions. You can be upset that 
she's doing it. But it's not a reason to be unkind. And for me, I don't even have a problem with the general public. But for celebrities, I think that you should, uh, you should oscillate on a, on a higher plane. Please, it's unfair. That's a, mm. that's a low place to go. Yeah. It's too low. Well, while we're, we're still thinking about this lady from Equity State uh, doing the cookathon, there is also a young man from Ibadan currently who yes, is. Yes, he wants to do 140 hours, hours, right? Uh, was it 200 hours or 140? There's somebody that said 140. Like 200 There's hours. Somebody else that said 200 yes. hours. Give everybody a chance. Absolutely. They'll be all right, all of them. Either way, the record will stay somebody in Nigeria because. Before somebody else we'll would say, try it, about two hours. Nigeria the, do one thousand the hours. fact that these people are doing it, anybody that wants to break this record now that is not Nigerian would think twice because he knows that the minute he breaks it, another Nigerian is coming it's for coming him. coming for him. <laughs> so they would just so, leave the record. You know, us. you know, we own it, we own it. <laughs> On that, no. Somebody actually said that very soon, World Guinness Book of Records will actually ban Nigerians for participating. No, 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 they can't now. For what? They can't. No, it's just a joke. Yeah, we'll see you guys after the break. So let's discuss um, sacrifices, right? Let's see what it means to us as Nigerians. Stay with us.